my ancestry is very diversified. Right? I have ancestry from the north, Megamagi. I have ancestry from the south, Irshan. I have French ancestry. I have Irish ancestry. I have Scottish ancestry. I have German ancestry. According to these guidelines, if I were to have a child, tribal courts at a whim can take that child under ownership. I'm a person of nations. And I think it's ludicrous for to have these guidelines that give such a corrupt judiciary system an avenue to harvest more children for abuse. Just two years ago, I was in Leech Lake Tribal Court, summonsed. I gave a reply in writing. I showed up. I was denied to even enter that court. Court seatings proceeded. B.J. Jones, the acting judge, wanted to attach a banishment to both myself and my wife, who is on Shinabe from Leech Lake Reservation, as a penalty to a bogus civil suit. I didn't even have a voice in the court. Everything she presented, they chunked out the door. They brought in their expert witness on Medellin. My wife was raised by a grandmother. Like she needs some academic grand poopa of her spirituality dictating to her tradition. You know, what's occurring right here is ludicrous. And when we look back at the history of our people, we enslaved one another. We stripped one another of our ceremonial rights. We stripped one another of our languages. So this is nothing new that's occurring with the onslaught of people from Europe on this continent. When people elected to no longer be buried in massive mounds, they broke away and they created their own individual nations. So for people to bring this up, generational trauma as a tool to initiate white guilt and sympathy for the continuance of abuse of these children, and we can go right back to Spirit Lake on this one and show just how the court system and the abuse of these children have gotten so extremely out of hand, nobody wants to say anything about it. They all want to back away and just, none of my business, you know? You know, I don't even know why I'm standing here because for this regulations to come out the way they've come out, doesn't leave a lot of hope for protecting the children, not the mental or the physical health of these kids. I just hope y'all can find a way to get it right. You know, you talk about, people speak about our culture, about our spirituality. What's changed since the 70s with all this Pan-American craziness that's occurred? We have powwows in New York, Florida, Washington, all a mirror image of one another. All the spirituality, an image of one another and nothing's changed. Suicide rates, 2009, Pine Ridge, epidemic. 2015, guess what? Pine Ridge, another epidemic. What's changed on the foundation of these cultural traits and the spirituality that's been in place since the 70s? Nothing, you wanna know a secret? Nothing's gonna change. You keep following that dog and pony show, these kids don't have a prayer. I hope sometime, I hope somewhere down the road people can figure it out. You can't keep making the same mistakes. You can't keep beating your head against the wall and expecting something to change. It ain't changed in 40 years. It ain't going to change now. And by putting more children into that script, it's not going to preserve the identity of the nation. That's my piece. I appreciate your time. Thank you.